Hello! Welcome to Marine Biology at Home, a free introduction to the marine world for all of us currently stuck. When I ask many of my students what they would like to study, many say marine biology. But what is marine biology? Well, for many of us, marine biology means that we are thinking about beautiful water, large vertebrates that we are either afraid of or want to be friends with, or seafood, but there's so much more. Marine environments range from those tropical reefs to polar oceans, kelp beds and seagrass meadows, pelagic waters, estuaries, beaches, mangrove forests, and it's not all sharks and killer whales. Marine organisms are amazingly diverse, from planktonic copepods and unicellular algae, to sea lilies and jellies, and all sorts of amazing worms. Human interactions are also a part of marine biology. Our fisheries, weather, trade, and water sports all come into play in this science. But perhaps most, our science is about adventure and exploration and discovery. Why is that? Because most of our world is water. And so when we look at our pale blue dot or our little globe out in the middle of space, one of the things that stands out most is that our planet has liquid water. Where's that water? Mostly in the oceans. So if we look at this, I'm saying here in this, in this little chart that the oceans form 97.3% of the water on our planet. The polar ice caps are only 2.1%, and it just goes down from there. When we're looking at freshwater sources like groundwater and lakes and atmosphere and rivers, tiny percentages. So when we're talking about water on our planet, we are talking about oceans. Oceans cover some 71% of the Earth's surface at an average depth of 3,800 meters. That's amazing. That is most of the planet. So the southern hemisphere is covered mostly by water, again, but here, 80%. Northern hemisphere, slightly less, 61%. And of those oceans, of that entire water mass, 84% is deeper than 2,000 meters. What does that mean? That means that the majority of our planet is cold and deep and dark. And, most importantly, unexplored, waiting for you to get there. So who is this class for? Well, it's been written at a college level. But people both older and younger than your typical college students are absolutely welcome with the understanding that if you don't understand something that we cover, you'll be able to find much more detail about it by asking in your local library or online. Um, your parents might be able to help, your teachers. There are a lot of resources out there for you, uh, including the instructors. So who is teaching this? Well, the instructors are a diverse group of marine biologists and other types of scientists who want to give something back at this moment. They are all volunteering their time and efforts. No one is getting paid. And they will, share, they will share their contact info at the beginning of each lecture. So please check out their pages, follow them on Twitter or Instagram or whatever they would like you to do. Who am I? Well, my name is Seaburn McKeon, and I am a doctor of zoology um, and ecology. I study a lot of different things. And you can find me at thenaturalistpodcast.com or on Twitter at Seabird McKeon. And I've got a lot of help. So behind the stage for this is Shamar, Shamar Blakeney. And he can be found at at Blakeney underscore truth on Twitter or Shamar underscore Blakeney on Instagram. Anthony Porter, who is an up-and-coming educator, is, can also be found on YouTube. 
And where can you ask questions about anything you might find in this course? Well, we've started a Facebook group just for that. So on Facebook, you can look for the group Marine Biology at Home and join and talk to the rest of your community. And we really look forward to working with you on this. Uh, hopefully, we'll have some great adventures together in the field of marine biology. Thanks.